our next feature and this one is going to be one of Claire Kidman's. The Art of Revolution is the fourth exhibition that's being curated by the Belarus-born artist Genadiv Ivanov and it's he's curated it in the Norwich Undercroft. The exhibition is dedicated to the 100th anniversary of the Bolshevik October Revolution and it explores the significance and cultural legacy Revolution is, expre is expressed by the 29 artists taking part through sculpture, installation, drawing and much, much more. Genevieve transformed the Undercroft into an exhibition that is like an installation in its own right. This time, it's no exception. Claire caught up with the artist at the Undercroft and this is the feature. Again, I am tried to transform the space because it's always like a blank canvas for me. And I tried to paint a new style, new ideas. So this is more like new painting uh, all the time, new exhibition, like new painting. We had 29 artists exhibiting here. We have more than 160 artworks, including photographs, uh, sculptures, paintings, installations, videos, fabrics. Yeah, it's a lot to see, actually. It's... Amanda Geithner, who came to the opening, said something about your style of curation. Yeah, I <laughs> I was quite uh, pleased to hear from such a highly professional person. She used to work in Sainsbury Centre, and now she's an uh, art fund uh, director, and she was absolutely impressed by the curation, and she said... So I, I broke all rules of curation and um, created a new style of curation. <laughs> she, she again, she sent me a letter to David and she totally thrilled. And she believed this is very good for city, like a new, new big bang to the heads of some people. <laughs> like almost a revolution idea of curation. <laughs> a revolution in its own right. <laughs> It's a very stirring show, and standing in front of one of your paintings, a triptych called The Dancing Sailors. Well, the sailors are um, a symbol of the revolution. If somebody watched the film of Eisenstein, Battleship Tomkin, they, they should remember how sailors started the revolution on the ship. So this is main, my main idea, was to start to create the, the theme of revolution and also why are dancing sailors they so happy and some English sailors and Russian sailors mixed together and to try to to take off too much blood from the exhibition to make it more happy and joy and fun yeah, this is kind of funny yeah. <laughs> there's this blood in the in the show depicted <laughs> But there is definitely lots of humour and playfulness as well. I'm standing in front of an art piece at the moment called Bite Me, but I think people will have to come and see that for themselves. <laughs> this drawing in particular is very moving, many-sided uh, drawing, and it has a bit of sort of Katie Colvett's feel about it. This is not your piece, is it? But... Uh, she's actually here. She can say Linda, Li say. Linda Johnson um, drawing. It's 20 meters long drawing, double side, to repeat the shape of the wall and the undercroft by to create inside like a labyrinth, little labyrinth. And also remind me actually like a old uh, British style on the beach, uh, changing rooms. <laughs> <laughs> when you can see the heads only heads and and feet or Amsterdam toilets <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually it's quite interesting because um, this is kind of we tried to create something different and lots of local artists was impressed by this idea it's very unusual and different <laughs> Linda Johnson who are the people who are marching or, or walking? It's, it's basically sort of the Jarrow March was my starting point, the Hunger Marches from the late Depression in the 30s, and it was just basically to bring those pe memories back to life, really. We're now standing in front of, it's, well, it's incredible see-through cellophane 
wall with some um, busts and right in front of me to the left of that wall is a steam train with lots and lots of almost allegorical images and I'm going to ask again a little bit about this painting. This is painting is um, calling um, the steam of revolution. So the main model for me, the train and on the front sitting um, local famous model Bear Freaks. And I tried to, to say something about bourgeois style. Uh, so the, this, we have this kind of about revolution changing so many styles all the time life changing and it's, it's like it's everything going to the steam like going out forever but it's just only on our memories and paintings we have this and also i use the symbol of russian revolution behind is a little man sitting on a horse as a piece as a part of the petrov vodkin uh, famous um, painting and um, the red uh, revolution the red horse it's like um, he's jumping out and he's naked as well. So this is vulnerability and the horse taking him to the future in different direction. But Beth sitting and relax, sitting and thinking about fashion, about dances, about smoking cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, this is interesting. And the, in the backside, they live in very black, black, uh, like, um, industrial city with lots of smoke and coal, but which used to be in Britain a long time. As this was industrial revolution about yes, steam, but everything is gone. <laughs> <laughs> and that was Claire Kinman talking to the artist and curator, Genevieve Ivano about the art of revolution. The exhibition is open until September the 30th and is open from 11 a.m. until 5 p.m. daily. The Undercroft is at the top of the Norwich Marketplace underneath the War Memorial. More information, including info about the events and performances during the show, can be found on the 48-page Art of Norwich guide that you can pick up around the city or you could go online, which is www.artinnorwich.com. Dot org, and that was Claire Kidman. Anyway, a little bit of music. 